Welcome back. My name is Lucy. I'm a pharmacist and a nurse. In this video, we will be going over a brief overview of medication, loss certain, its uses, dosage, side effects, and interactions. As always, all information in this video is for informational purposes only and always seek the advice of your qualified healthcare provider with any question you may have regarding a medical condition. What is loss certain? Loss certain is an antihypertensive medication that belongs to a group called angiotensin 2 receptor blockers. It goes by the brand name Causa. It is used to treat high blood pressure or hypertension. It is also used to treat those with enlarged heart or left ventricular hypertrophy. It helps to reduce mortality and improve heart function in those with progressive heart failure. It also helps to prevent future stroke and heart attack. Also used in diabetes nephropathy to treat and prevent kidney damage caused by the effects of diabetes, especially in patients with protein in their urine and it does this by slowing kidney damage. How does it work? It works by blocking angiotensin receptor found in your kidney and this helps kidneys to regulate blood pressure in your body by relaxing the blood vessel. Losartan tablets are available in 25 milligram, 50 milligram and 100 milligram. The dose ranges from 25 milligram to 100 milligram per day. The starting dose is 25 milligram with a maximum dose of 100 milligram per day. It can be taken with or without food and swallow the tablet with a glass of water. Losartan should be taken around the same time every day so that you can get 24 hour blood pressure control. Once you take the tablet, it takes about six hours for it to reduce blood pressure, but it takes three to six weeks to see full benefit. If you have high blood pressure, you may not have any symptoms. In this case, you may not feel any different when you take the Losartan. This doesn't mean that the medicine isn't working and it's important to keep taking it. If you miss a dose of losartan take it as soon as you remember do not take a double dose to make up for a missed one if you often forget doses it may help to set an alarm to remind you you could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways of helping you remember your medicine losartan is a lifetime medication because there is no cure for high blood pressure but if you take some lifestyle modification or changes and your blood pressure starts to drop your healthcare provider may be able to decrease your dose or even stop it. Losartan is generally well tolerated and side effects are generally mild. The most common side effects include fatigue, joint pain, headache, constipation, dizziness, and vertigo. Most commonly, dizziness is a sign that your medicine is working too well, especially if you feel dizzy when you stand up or sit from a line position. Your healthcare provider can adjust your dose to help with this side effect. Make sure you are staying hydrated because dehydration can make the dizziness worse. The less common side Side effects include diarrhea, weakness, heartburn, chest pain, urinary tract infection, decreased platelet, cough. Cough with losartan is not as common as with another blood pressure medicine called lisinopril. The cough is just annoying and not dangerous. The cough can occur years down the road. Another side effect is high potassium or hyperkalemia. Be careful with potassium rich food like oranges, bananas, and potatoes, or if you're taking potassium supplements or potassium sparing diarrhea. If you notice weakness, an irregular heartbeat, pins and needles, and muscle cramps, these can be signs of changes in the sodium and potassium levels in your blood. Make sure to get your electrolyte checked regularly. Losartan can have some rare severe side effects. This includes decreased platelet count, muscle damage, liver problems. So notify your healthcare provider if you notice yellow skin or the whites of your eyes turn yellow. It can also cause severe skin rash. These include swelling, itchiness, redness, blisters, or peeling skin. It can cause edgeo edema. This is very rare and it includes swelling in the face, lip, tongue, and throat. If you experience this, stop the medicine and contact your healthcare provider. Rarely, it can cause severe swelling. If this happens, you need to go to the emergency room immediately. It can also cause kidney failure. I know we said it's kidney protective. It is true in patients with diabetes, but if you have pre-existing kidney disease including low renal blood flow for example renal artery stenosis heart failure concurrent use with diuretic like lasix and all non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or older age you are at increased risk of kidney failure when you are on losartan make sure to check your blood pressure periodically also your physician may order some long-term labs like for liver function kidney function cbc and 
certain potassium levels. Who should avoid losartan? People with history of angioedema or a family history of angioedema, severe kidney disease, severe liver disease, severe heart disease, pregnant and or breastfeeding. So when pregnancy is detected, discontinue losartan as soon as possible. It can cause injury and death to the developing fetus. The exposed fetus should be monitored for fetal growth, amniotic fluid volume, and organ formation. When losartan is used to reduce the risk of stroke in patients with hypertension and enlarged heart, it is not as effective if you are of African American descent because of the lower level of hormone renin while your blood pressure is elevated. This doesn't mean you can't use losartan, it's just not the first line medication in this population. Losartan has some drug interactions that can exacerbate the side effects. These include other medications that help lower blood pressure like lisinopril and ramipril, painkillers like ibuprofen and naproxen, blood thinning medication like heparin, diuretic like lessi, lithium which is used in patients with mental health problems so it is advisable to monitor lithium levels closely. Medications that are used to treat heart failure like spironolactone so combination of these can lead to increased potassium. Thank you for watching. Make sure to get your labs done to help catch some of the side effects before they become serious. Talk with your healthcare provider or pharmacist if you have any concerns. Also, if you have any specific questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe if you found this information helpful.